Cedar Foxes. This is WRCE, your Foxes Morning News. I am Cassidy. And I am Maria. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the South Carolina Pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the South Carolina Pledge. I salute the flag of South Carolina and pledge to Palmetto State. Love, loyalty, and faith. Today is Thursday, January 17th, and we want to wish Valeria, Peyton, and Knapp a very happy birthday. Fox's Tales magazine is accepting submissions for the spring issue of the magazine. You can submit stories, poems, essays, and colorful drawings. The next writing workshop is scheduled for January 30th. If you would like some help with your writing, ask your teacher to schedule you a 15-minute appointment. You must bring a draft of your writing to that appointment. Don't come empty-handed. If you don't need help, you can give your writing or artwork directly to Ms. Wurstler in the Media Center. Tonight is Firehouse Sub Spirit Night from 5 to 8. Come out for a delicious dinner and see your friends. Now here is Jose and Zach with today's holiday. Founding Father Benjamin Franklin was born on this day in 1706 in Boston, making today Ben Franklin Day. Franklin was the 10th and youngest son of a soap and candle maker. Frank Franklin's bright mind came up with many inventions. His 1752 kite and key experiment demonstrated that lightning was electricity, and he also invented the lightning rod. He came up with other electricity-related terms that we still use today, such as the battery. He invented a fireplace that became known as Franklin stove. Compared to the popular fireplaces of its time, it gave off more heat and used less fuel. Franklin refused to patent it and wanted his invention to serve others freely. Fra Franklin invented bifocals, bifocal glasses, which could be used for both distance and reading. He even invented a musical instrument, the harmonica, which Beethoven and Mozart wrote for music for. He charted the Gulf Stream and gave it its name and suggested the idea for and helped designed, design the first penny in the United States. It is fitting today would be dedicated to Benjamin Franklin, as he is so much more than just a man on a hundred dollar bill. The range and scope of his achievements are almost unparalleled, not only in his political contributions to a new country, but in his many other pursuits as well. Here are just some of his accomplishments accomplishments and activities as writer, printer, and publisher. Wrote as Silence Do Good in the New England Quran. He published Poor Richard's Almanac for 25 years. He owned the Pennsylvania Gazette. And he wrote an acclaimed autobiography. As an inventor, he invented swimming fins, the carriage odometer, and the harmonica. He founded the library company, the country's first subscription library, Union Fire Company of Philadelphia, the first fire department of Pennsylvania. As a politician, he was a colonial representative in England, a member of Second Continental Congress, the first postmaster general of the United States, he helped draft the Decla Declaration of Independence and signed it. He was the first ambassador to France, and he was present at the signing of the Treaty of Paris. He was a delegate to Constitutional Convention and signed Constitution. No wonder today is Benjamin Franklin Day. Remember to work hard, be kind, and show respect. Have a fox day, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow morning.